Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to look at how you can take paths directly from Photoshop to Illustrator. So you're going to be taking a shape from Photoshop to Illustrator by way of it being a path. Now one of the reasons that you might want to do this is because Photoshop comes with a whole lot of really good shapes, but Illustrator doesn't. And yet Illustrator is probably the place where you're most likely to want to work with shapes. So let's see how to do it. I've got Illustrator open here. These are shapes that I brought in from Photoshop. We're going to do it from scratch. So I'm going to open up Photoshop here and I'm going to my shapes collection. So I have a whole lot of shapes here, but if we go to window and then shapes, if you don't have all the shapes in your shape collection, you can click on the fly out menu here and append the default shapes. You can also append legacy shapes and more, and you can go and import shapes that you might have saved out of Photoshop in previous versions. So you have the tools here for bumping up the number of shapes that you have available in your shapes tool. I'm going to just click the drop down here because I've already done that and I have all my legacy shapes here as well as some of my own and some that I've downloaded from the web. So we're going to have a look at one of these shapes. Let's go to this scooter here. So I'm just going to click on the shape and I'm going to click away from the dialog. Now before I draw the shape in my document, I need to make sure that I'm using path. You can't use shape, you can't use pixels, you have to use path. So I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to hold the shift key down as I drag out my shape. That means that the shape is now constrained to its original proportions. Now it doesn't look like much in Photoshop, but it's not Photoshop that we're concerned with. We want it in Illustrator. So what we're going to do here is go over here and select the path selection tool. So with that tool selected, we have the path selected. We can go to edit copy and then I'll swing across to Illustrator and I'm just going to choose edit and then paste. I get to choose from a compound shape or a compound path. I'm just going to choose compound shape. I'm going to click OK. And here is the shape inside my Illustrator document. Again, holding the shift key to scale it in the correct proportions. And I can just click to fill it with a color. And of course, we could select the color that we want to use. Now these shapes are going to be available in this document provided I save the document, I can get them back at any time. There is another way that you could save these, perhaps a little bit more useful, and that is a symbol. So I'm just going to open the symbols panel. I'm going to select my shape here, and I'm going to click the plus sign to add a new symbol, and I can just call that scooter. And I'm going to do the same for the leaf, and for my raven. Now if I want to save these, the first thing I'm going to do is click away from any of these shapes and I'm going to remove the shapes that I can from this particular collection. So I'm going to select all of the shapes up until the ones that I just added and I'm going to drag and drop them onto the delete option here. So what I have left in my panel is just my shapes, the ones that I've just created now. So I'm going to the fly out panel here and I'm going to choose save symbol library. And now I can create a library. You can see that this is going into the symbols collection for my version of Illustrator. So just let Illustrator do the work. So I'm just going to call this Helen's shapes. Now let's just close this file. I'm going to save it because I want to keep those images in that file. I'm going to create a brand new file. And if we go to the symbols panel, you'll see that the symbols aren't there. The ones that we just created aren't there. Well, that's because they're saved on disk. So what I can do is go across here to this option and choose open symbol library, or I can do it from this library button here. And I'm going down here to user defined, and I'm going to click here on Helen shapes. And here are my shapes. So if I select all four of them, clicking on the first shift, clicking on the last, from the fly out menu, I can choose add to symbols. You can see that the symbols are all in the symbols library. Now if I click away, I can go and select the plane and just drag and drop it into my document. 
Now this is a symbol. You can see up here on the toolbar that we're saying all the symbol options. And even if you've never used a symbol before, you'll be able to identify that Illustrator is treating it a little bit differently to what you might expect. So if you just want this in a document and you don't want it to be a symbol anymore, just click on break link. And now it's just a regular shape in Illustrator as if you had actually created the shape yourself. And you can color it by selecting a color here or select a color from the drop down here. So copying shapes from Photoshop to Illustrator is a fairly simple process and it certainly gives you a start for many documents in Illustrator because Illustrator doesn't come with a lot of shapes and Photoshop does. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.